Samsung has not raised the charging speeds on its Galaxy S Ultra lineup for several years, continuing to use 45-watt wired fast charging. Early reports suggested that the Galaxy S26 Ultra might finally increase this to 60-watt. Ice Universe on X has reiterated that the Galaxy S26 Ultra's specifications remain the same, confirming 45-watt charging rather than 60-watt. Hints about a possible 60-watt upgrade originally appeared in a One UI 8.5 leak, creating some expectation of faster charging. Such an upgrade would have been useful since Samsung is likely keeping the battery capacity at 5,000 mAh. Ampere hour. Recently, all Galaxy S26 models passed certification in China. The Galaxy S26 Ultra's listing confirms support for 45 watt, while the Galaxy S26 Pro and Galaxy S26 Edge were certified with 25 watt, consistent with their predecessors. Recent hints suggest that the Galaxy S26 Ultra could introduce meaningful advancements in screen technology. iQ, a subbrand of Vivo, has started teasing its flagship iQ15, which will feature Samsung Display's latest high end OLED panel. Notably, well-known tipster Ice Universe claims that this same OLED technology will also be used in the Galaxy S26 Ultra. According to Ice Universe on X, references to a privacy display have been found in One UI 8.5's code. This feature would narrow screen visibility at side angles, helping protect sensitive information in public spaces. For the Galaxy S26 Ultra, this capability will likely come in the form of Samsung's Flex Magic Pixel technology. The concept behind it is straightforward. The screen automatically reduces viewing angles, making it harder for others nearby to peek at your display. Flex Magic Pixel, first showcased by Samsung at MVVC last year, is expected to enable this function. While there is a chance the broader Galaxy S26 series could benefit from the feature, leaks indicate that Samsung is prioritizing the Ultra model. Insiders believe the Ultra's display will be the most advanced in the lineup, making it the leading candidate to debut privacy display. According to Ice Universe, the screen on the Galaxy S26 Ultra will return to its peak. A new report suggests that the device's display will be both brighter and thinner, thanks to old technology built with advanced materials and innovative enhancements. This panel will use M14, the most cutting-edge OLED material set available, providing superior brightness, color accuracy, and power efficiency, while also improving durability. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is also expected to become the first non-foldable phone to adopt COE technology. This method integrates anti-reflective features directly into the OLED encapsulation layer, removing the need for a separate polarizer. Samsung has used COE in its foldable displays since 2021 and now, five years later, it could finally extend to standard bar-style phones with the S26 Ultra. However, these upgrades are likely to remain exclusive to the Ultra model and won't be available on the other two devices in the series. We found hints of a new feature called Private Display or Privacy Display. This could connect directly with a rumored capability for the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra. Using your phone in public, whether reading a sensitive message or entering your PIN can often feel uncomfortable. That's why privacy screen protectors exist, even for premium models like the Galaxy S25 series, giving users some degree of protection against unwanted onlookers. For the Galaxy S26 Ultra, speculations suggest it may include Samsung Display's Flex Magic Pixel technology. Previously revealed by Samsung Display, this innovation uses AI to adjust screen pixels dynamically, narrowing the viewing angles so content remains clear to you but less visible to those nearby. Android Authority has reportedly uncovered code within the early One UI 8.5 build that provides more insight into this upcoming feature. It appears Samsung may brand it as either private display or privacy display as both names are mentioned in the code. According to the description, the private display feature is designed to restrict screen visibility from side angles, helping protect user privacy in public settings. Despite a few spelling inconsistencies in the code, the strings reveal that once enabled, the feature can automatically activate when sensitive apps are opened in crowded environments. The code also points to two possible privacy levels. Maximum privacy. This option further reduces visibility by dimming the screen more than usual. Manual settings. While not yet fully detailed, this section could include options for finer control. In addition, the strings reference custom conditions. This would let users personalize when and where the feature activates, for example, limiting it to specific apps like banking or messaging, or even setting a schedule for automatic activation. Webo Leaker claims there's a 50-50 chance that Samsung might abandon the S Pen slot from its future Ultra flagships, probably the Galaxy S26 Ultra. The company is apparently mulling over utilizing this space for battery and practical sensors.
In my opinion, the S Pen remains one of the most practical and defining features of Samsung's Ultra lineup. Its true value comes from Bluetooth connectivity, which enables a range of convenient functions that enhance the overall user experience. Samsung should strongly consider bringing back this feature in the upcoming Galaxy S26 Ultra, expected to launch in the coming months. The S Pen has always been an important tool for Ultra users, and its functionality has been a key reason many prefer this series. However, Samsung removed Bluetooth functionality in the S25 Ultra, a move that noticeably reduced excitement among longtime users. Rumors suggest Samsung might do the same with the S20. Ultra, which has left fans frustrated as they don't want to see the feature cut two years in a row. Although Samsung continues to set new sales records year after year, many users feel their enthusiasm is fading because essential features in the Ultra series are being scaled back. For this reason, it is important for Samsung to align with user expectations and ensure the Galaxy S26 Ultra delivers a truly valuable and meaningful upgrade. A new leak about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 lineup has revealed cases for the Galaxy S26 Pro, Galaxy S26 Edge, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. Earlier renders already highlighted their designs, but these leaked case images provide a much clearer view. Now with additional case leaks, we get another closer look at all three models. In total, 19 images of cases for the Galaxy S26 26 series from multiple brands have surfaced online, shared by at Keep Up With Own UI and Sammy Guru. These images showcase the phones from different angles, offering detailed glimpses of their builds. One notable design choice is the Galaxy S26 Edge's camera module, which spans the full width of the phone, something that looks a little unusual compared to the others. As for camera setups, the Galaxy S26 Pro features three lenses, the Galaxy S26 Edge carries two, while the Galaxy S26 Ultra is equipped with four. The photos also confirm that all three phones continue with rounded corners and flat sides, consistent with previous models. Another detail revealed is Kai 2 wireless charging support with these cases. Additional information about the series including display specifications, camera details, and battery capacity has also been leaked. Ice Universe shared a tweet on X according to Ice Universe. The S26 Ultra is confirmed to feature the S Pen Bluetooth functionality. When it arrives, it may surprise some by using an Exynos chipset instead of Qualcomm's flagship Snapdragon processor. According to the latest reports, the entire Galaxy S26 series will run on Samsung's in-house Exynos 2600 chipset. A report from the Korea Herald further confirms this, stating that every model in the Galaxy S26 lineup, including the Ultra, will exclusively feature the Exynos 2600. For the last three generations, the Galaxy S Ultra series shipped only with Snapdragon chips, Galaxy S23 Ultra, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Galaxy S24 Ultra, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Galaxy S25 Ultra, Snapdragon 8 Elite. Recently, Geekbench results revealed the Exynos 2600 scored 3,309 inches single-core and 11,256 inches multi-core tests. These results position it ahead of the Snapdragon 8 Elite in both categories, nearly matching the iPhone 16 Pro's single-core performance while surpassing it in multi-core. Give a clearer look thanks to an image showing one of its protective cases. On X, Twitter at Ice Universe shared a photo of the Galaxy S26 Ultra inside a case. It's not confirmed whether Samsung or a third-party manufacturer produces the case, but the image gives us a detailed view of the device. The case has a raised section around the camera setup supporting earlier reports that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature a camera island. The image also highlights a display with slim bezels and a centrally positioned punch hole for the front camera. On the back, the device houses four cameras, a laser autofocus sensor, a flash, and a simple flat panel. The power and volume keys are positioned on the right side. The case itself appears to be a hybrid design. The edges and camera island are protected by black rubber-like material, while the back is transparent, allowing the phone's color to remain visible. It also includes cutouts for a lanyard and reinforced borders around the display to help absorb impact from drops. According to the benchmark listing, the Galaxy S26 Ultra with model number SMS938 and running Android 15 and a Linux 6.6 .6 kernel delivered a single core score of 3330 and a multi-core score of 10,452. These numbers place it among the most powerful Android devices we've seen to date. For context, this is a major leap compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it even pushes closer to Apple's A-Series chip performance. A single-core score above 3,300 indicates blazing fast responsiveness, 
while a multi-core score over 10,000 shows just how much power Samsung is packing into its upcoming flagship. The benchmark also confirms that the device will ship with Android 15 out of the box, aligning with Samsung's software rollout timeline for 2026. This matches earlier leaks suggesting that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will be one of the first devices optimized for One UI 8.5. If these numbers hold up in the final retail version, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could become one of the fastest smartphones on the market, raising the bar for both Android and iOS rivals. What do you think about these early results? Is Samsung finally catching up or even surpassing Apple and raw performance? The renowned tipster at Ice Universe has stated that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature a 6.89-inch screen, nearly identical to the 6.9-inch panel used in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. In another post, Ice added that the screen will include surprises, incorporating some of Samsung's core display technologies in this model. Ice Universe also shared images of third-party camera protective films for the Galaxy S26 Edge, Galaxy S26 Pro, and Galaxy S26 Ultra. These images offer a clearer look at the expected camera design changes across the lineup. All three devices seem to feature a visible camera bump, which may be an intentional design adjustment to reduce overall phone thickness. While the screen size itself appears unchanged, the same source suggests that Samsung could introduce other enhancements, thanks to its in-house display innovations. So even with similar dimensions, meaningful upgrades might still be on the way. This report slightly conflicts with earlier claims that the Galaxy S26 Ultra would feature slimmer bezels, allowing for a larger display in the same overall frame. However, it's also possible that both bezel size and the overall device footprint could be reduced. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.